Hi guys, welcome back to another unboxing episode here at Spads YouTube. My name is Pads, and today we are gonna be unboxing the U-shape neck holder mount from Telesi. This is the version two uh, option. I'm gonna go ahead and link the item on the description where I bought it. Okay, so make sure that you check that out. And before we proceed with the unboxing, syempre, um, if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe and then follow my social media accounts. And make sure that you hit that like button and share so that you can help me and my channel grow. So yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Oh, before I go ahead and box this, let me go ahead and give you a small background why I bought the neck mount. The first reason is that I'm going away from my chin mount on my helmet. Why I'm going away with that or why I'm choosing to not use the chin mount, it's because one is the weight that it puts on my helmet. Okay, I'm trying to, you know, uh, take off some weight in the helmet so that whenever I do moto vlogging, moto camping, or you know, uh, anything that involves on using my helmet and my GoPro, it won't give me a pain on my neck whenever I'm doing long Right, so that's the main reason. The second reason is that I need to have a mount for my GoPro which is really convenient and quick and fast on this mounting and mounting it. So this is the option that I chose that answers all of those needs that I want from my new mount. Other than the neck mount, there is also a chest mount for the GoPro. The only reason why I didn't get that mount or I don't want to use that is that when you mount the chest mount for the GoPro, it has a strap on your uh, shoulder and then at the same time, it has a strap on your torso problem is if you're gonna take off your jacket you know you have to take it off as well and it's really inconvenient and troublesome to take it out and like this one you'll just have to uh, put it on your neck and then you're good to go okay so those are the reasons that I purchased this one so if you're looking for those answers I hope that I you know answered them for you right here yeah so let's go ahead and open this up Ayan. This is the box. This is what's inside. Four items. Ayan. The neck mount. The flexible adapter. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why it's in there and what's that for. The main magnetic adapter. And then the lock. Okay. So let's go ahead and check if there are other information on the box. Okay. I have the uh, user guide on how to mount the camera and disassembling the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and teach you that later. Okay? So, ayan. So, let's take out the neck mount. Oh my god. Ayan. So, this is the neck mount. This is actually the version 2. What's the difference between version 1 and then version 2? Version 1 is plastic. It doesn't have any coating. Uh, most of the complaints that I saw online is that it's actually uncomfortable on the neck. And it's not adjustable. So if you have a big neck, you have a problem with the version 1. And the version 2, they answered those problems with coating the uh, neck portion with a silicone rubber. Okay, on top of that, it's now flexible. Ayan. So you can adjust the neck mount to the, you know, shape of your neck. You can actually bend it like that. It will not break. So ayan, that's the good thing about that. And at the same time, Siyempre, it's already magnetic mount so it's easier to know take it out and then put it back in and at the same time the build is actually more premium than the version one let's go ahead and check the other accessories okay let me go ahead and start with the magnetic mount this is the main mount how do you put it in there is a small dot on the neck mount and a small dot on the magnetic adapter okay all you have to do is just align them together like that okay and then let the magnet do its thing all you have to do is just you know push it a bit to lock itself and it's not gonna go anywhere 
So in order for you to take it out, all you have to do is just twist clockwise and then take it out. Yeah, and it's really easy. Let me go ahead and do it one more time. Yeah. Let me go ahead and just put it there. So, I won't have to explain what this is for. <laughs> this is your lock. For your GoPro. This one I have to explain on how to use this one. Uh, this is a flexible uh, adapter. Okay. This will allow you to shoot in portrait mode or what we call vertical shooting or vertical position. Those footage are used for reels, uh, TikTok, and then Instagram reels. So that's the only application I can think of. So this flexible adapter lets you shoot on that position let me go ahead and show you how to mount it vert uh, horizontally or the landscape mode it's really easy if you're ready put on the magnet all you have to do is just place it on the table mount the gopro and and then the lock mo lang siya. Okay, and then after that, simply just position it and you're good to go. It's in landscape mode. The other thing that you can do with it as well is that you can actually position it to face down and then you have a top down camera or a top view camera. This is really useful if you're unboxing something or if, or if you're doing an instructional video and you need to take footage on your, of your uh, hand, you can use this. Oh, ayan! Let me go ahead and show you the other uh, position which is the vertical or portrait mode. Okay? Let me go ahead and uh, put the adapter here. Okay? If you're gonna use this, you will have to get an extra lock okay so you need two locks in order for you to use this so let me go ahead and lock this in okay portrait and okay and then it's time to mount the gopro okay so it's facing on the side all you have to do is just you know flip the gopro and right there it's really easy you are now shooting on a portrait or vertical mode you can actually shoot vertical from the top yeah so facing down na siya. it's really useful it's very flexible okay you can combine it with other extendable mounts that you can mount on your GoPro. It's really simple. Uh, okay, so how do you operate this thing if you're gonna put it on your neck? Siyempre, kapag ito lang, <laughs> it's not gonna fit on my head. So, on the back, there is a small button that you can press. Okay, and then mag unlock na siya. It will unlock itself. To lock it again, all you have to do is just align it straight and then it clicks back in. Actually, the locking of the uh, neck mount, it takes of getting used to at first, okay? I'm having a hard time actually, even though I've already used this. So, to lock it in, make sure that you align, okay? Make sure that you put it straight in in order for you to lock it because if it's on the diagonal just like that will not lock and at the same time baka masira mo pa yung ano yung neck mount so ayan so you just have to feel it okay and then you're good to go when you're trying to use it on your gloves it's really easy i've checked i've tested that out okay so just practice okay so that's it for the unboxing of the u-shaped neck mount from telecine subscribe to the channel because i will be creating another set of videos you know testing the telecine in a real world review on how it performs when i'm riding the motorcycle 
and at the same time on how the camera feels and how it will provide you with the point of view footage if you're wearing on your neck and at the same time i will be teaching you the hidden features of the neck mount it can be a all-in-one accessory for your gopro okay so that's it make sure that you subscribe to the channel and then follow my social media accounts and then hit that bell icon so that you'll get notified every time i upload a new video ride safe travel more i will see you guys in the next video bye